What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you about the browser-based tool that you can access from anywhere to diagnose and even install applications on your PC remotely or from the, your own PC. And it's already installed on your computer. So this is kind of a cool one. Uh, it is on Windows 11, so I believe you'll need to be on Windows 11 to enable this. But um, I was really excited to see all of the features that are actually enabled here. And the remote access is, of course, nice as well. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Ms. Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. Thank you so much for being channel members. If you want to support the channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So onto the video itself, we're looking at the Windows device portal, and this is the performance tab. Um, but you can see that we can actually choose from many different tabs. If we go to our um, apps manager, you can see that we actually have application packages that we can install and we can even sign specific app packages. If we're developing something and need to uh, install it directly, we can do that as well. On the right here, we can start any installed app. So if we click on here, we can scroll through and see which apps are installed. Um, Windows app specifically and say if I wanted to open up a ClipChamp, I can start and ClipChamp just open down here and we can do all of this remotely. So that's really, really cool. If we go to Xbox Live, you can change the Xbox Live sandbox you're using. For example, if you're developing an Xbox Live game, you can access your entire file structure remotely. So you can go through and access specific uh, videos or documents, save them remotely and transfer them from your PC to wherever you happen to be. You can see your running processes and actually stop processes as well. You can actually see all your performance here. We can change our GPU if you have more than one connected and see all of these statistics for that. And again, this can all be done remotely through a web browser. So before I go through all the rest of this, and I might not even go through all of this because there is so much uh, to go into, um, we're actually going to show you how to enable it. So what we want to do is open up your Windows settings menu. So we can just go to start settings and click on settings. And once we're here, we're going to go to the system tab under system. We're going to go to four developers and under four developers, we're going to choose device portal. Now under device portal, you can actually choose an authentication method. So we want to turn this on and then edit to add a name and password. Once you've done that, you may need to restart your computer and then you can just click on this address to access the dashboard. So once you have it on and you click on this, it'll load up the dashboard or the portal and you can go through here and adjust all of these features. We can even see our Bluetooth chip and see what devices are in range and pair them remotely. There is just so much we can do within this portal. Um, it's super exciting to have a new development or analytics tool for Windows itself, a management tool, I guess you'd call it. And um, usually this kind of stuff is only for the enterprise software versions. Um, so it's nice to see this coming out uh, as a default on Windows 11. It's just a developer option you can enable. So that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. A broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?